Well, this week's review is of the 2019 Toyota Corolla Hatchback XSE. The car that we tested was in the very uh, attractive uh, blue flame color. I uh, actually drove a 2019 Corolla on the track back uh, last spring, and I got to tell you, I was very, very impressed. I had zero expectations of the Corolla on the track, and I immediately realized it was a great handling, braking little car with uh, brisk acceleration and very, very good road manners. It's powered by a 2 liter, 166 horsepower, dual overhead cam, direct injected four cylinder. There is a, uh, a mouthful to you. For you. It has a, our, our the car that we tested had the CB tra CBT transmission with first gear launch mode, but there's also a manual available. Last week I did a 400 mile round trip in the little car uh, to San Antonio, and as part of that I went through a construction zone where uh, we were directed uh, down an unpaved road. It was really wet and mucky and nasty and rutted, and really probably not the uh, the best road to be driving a, uh, uh, well, any car, yeah, much less a Corolla. But uh, yeah, the little Toyota they could uh, took it all in stride. Of course, it was pretty dirty uh, when we got finished, as you'll see in some of the pictures that I'm going to post. Um, our test car was uh, 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 outfitted with the upgraded JBL M2 3.0, which is a $1,600 upgrade, but uh, I think it's probably well worth it. It comes with an app suite, dynamic navigation, voice recognition, and excellent 8 inch touch, touch screen. Uh, Sirius XM, uh, it's CarPlay compatible. And in my opinion, one of the best things of all is that it comes with wireless charging technology on the console. Uh, the dashboard is a very fluid design with intuitive controls. I really like the flow of everything. Um, you know, I drive a lot of different cars, and sometimes you get in the car and you have a hard time figuring out what all the controls do and where they are. The little Corolla, I took to it like a, uh, a duck to water. It's also a, a, a equipped with some pretty great uh, safety features, including uh, Toyota Safety Sense, which is the pre-collision detection with pedestrian uh, warning, uh, lane departure with steering assist, uh, radar cruise control, and again, another feature that once you uh, once you use it in a car, you're going to have a, a hard time uh, doing without it, I think. The seats are very comfortable for a large man. They also have a material available called soft text, which is a leather-like uh, material. Um, I've seen other materials in, for instance, the Mazda 6, but I think Toyota's is actually a little more um, sophisticated looking, looks a little closer to uh, real, uh, real uh, uh, leather. Uh, my wife found the ride to be very accommodating as well. Um, she kind of likes a nice smooth ride, and I kind of like a car that handles a little bit better, maybe a little more, uh, uh, you know, a little more, uh, uh, what shall I say, sports car like. It is equipped with paddle shifters, although I found them to be uh, rather pointless. Uh, um, uh, in the automatic car that I drove, but uh, yeah, I mean they're there if you want. It's not a very sporting car, but it is very, very competent. Oh, pardon me. Uh, there are three basic models and uh, a total of five configurations, with the XSE being the top trim level. Uh, the base L model uh, starts at eighteen thousand seven hundred dollars. The XSE uh, base model twenty two eight eighty. Uh, which is the car that we tested, and it, uh, and it was uh, as tested at sticker for 26610, which was altogether, I think, a pretty reasonable car for a uh, price for a very, very well um, equipped car. I'm very interested to drive the SE six speed manual, which starts at 21865. I think that probably would be a, a really uh, nice um, uh, uh, configuration and certainly uh, very, very uh, reasonably priced. Uh, the little Toyota that could. Uh, uh, is rated excellent, uh, 33 miles per gallon combined, 30 in the city, 38 on the highway. Uh, my driving showed a little bit less than that, but uh, part of that probably had to do with, uh, uh, you know, the uh, rotten roads that I had to drive on. If you're looking for a compact car that's sporty, fun, and economical, won't break the bank, and will last forever, well, I recommend you go look at the 2019 Toyota Corolla, one of the first Toyota Corollas in a real long time that I find uh, to be uh, pretty impressive. I'd like to have one.